This technique is known as colour dodging and I tend to use it either between the middle of my workflow if I want to get some colours to pop or I might do it towards the end of a finishing touch. And you can use it again in creative images or even in landscapes. So the first method that I'm going to show you is using a solid colour fill. If you look at the layer stack on layer three, it's a pixelated layer. So I'm going to come down to the bottom of my layer stack, choose solid colour. And for example, I want to choose a, a red. I want to really pop that red in the roof. I'm going to click OK. You can see the red there. I'm going to change my blend mode to colour. And I'm going to click on the mask and I'm going to invert the mask. And that is by Control I or Command I. And you'll see now that the mask is black. So it's a black mask. I've got my brush but I must make sure that my foreground is white. So it's black mask this time, white foreground. Now I want to add that colour, brush that colour into the roof, but I don't want it too strong. So I'm going to come up to my opacity and it's at 80 at the moment. I might just drop it down to about 48 and let's just see. Just going to brush that in. I might come up change it a little bit higher so you can actually see just as I'm brushing in that colour. So have a look at the mask over here. You can see there is that area that I've brushed in. Now if I turn that layer off, you can see I've just added a little bit more red in to that roof. Let's say that I want to brush in a little bit more into this yellow couch. I'm going to add another solid color layer. Come down here, solid color. I'm going to choose to say into the orange tones, mustard, whatever you want. Click OK. Click on the mask. Invert the mask by Control I. So it's a black mask, white brush, and I've chosen a yellow. But if I wanted to sample, I could hold down my Alt key and that will sample that colour. It's fairly similar. So I'm going to now just brush across that couch. And let's see whether we might have to just change the opacity, bring it up a little bit. Ah, let's have a look. On my blend mode, I didn't have colour, so I come down and click on colour. And let's see if we can brush that yellow in there. Have a look again. And these are the things that you've got to look at and problem solve if, why it's not working. Have a look. Foreground, background are both black. We don't want that, so we'll click on that top. We'll make sure that that's white because it's a black mask and I'll come in and now I'll brush. And I could brush along here to give it a bit of yellow if I want. Have a look at that inverted mask. So it's always about looking at different areas of your toolbar. It's a black mask, white brush. Then you've got to make sure that your blend mode is on colour for your colour dodging. Now that's one way to do colour dodging, using a solid colour fill. So I'm going to delete those layers and show you another technique. So this time I'm going to get a blank layer. So I'll click on my actions panel and I'll just call it colour dodge. Again, change the blend mode to soft light. What I'm going to do with my brush tool, hold down my Alt key, and that gives me my color picker. I'm going to sample the roof, for example. Have a look at the foreground. It's chosen a color. I'm going to click there. A little bit too light. I want to make it a bit more brighter. 
so I'll go okay. Now I can play with the opacity but I'll just brush across and you can actually see there I am brushing in that red giving it a little pop of colour. Let's turn that layer off and you can see that's done some colour dodging. Now because I've done it on a blank layer I can drop the opacity down a little bit and let's say that I want to, let's come in right in close and I may want to do some colour dodging on the door. So again, new blank layer and I'll call that Colour Dodge 2. I'm going to make sure my blend mode is soft light. Hold down my Alt key. I'm going to sample into that door area and you can see it's changed that colour there. I'll make my brush a bit smaller and I'm just going to brush across the area of the door. Now I'm not going to be too fussy with it, but this is where I can do a little bit of colour dodging, give it some depth on that door. And we'll zoom back out. Now you can see that's quite strong there. So again, have a look at the layer. That's where I've been brushing across the door, but let's drop the opacity down. 73. Let's turn that layer on off. Look at the difference. And there it is. Two methods for colour dodging. And as I said, I'll either do that maybe in the middle of my workflow if I want to make some colour pop or I do it towards the end as a finishing touch. But colour dodging is a great tool just to get those colours to pop a little bit more stronger but they're what I call selective colour adjustments, not global. Have fun with it.